All right, despite the fact that I've got a face for radio, uh, the elders have asked me to make yet another video for you guys. So it's been a while since I made one of these. Felt like for the last year to 15 months, was cranking out one of these a week as we were talking about adjusting and first weren't meeting and then how do we start meeting and how do we respect the needs of other people around us, the perceptions of our community, the, uh, you know, to, to be able to preach the gospel without any other stumbling blocks being brought in other than the gospel itself. And we were making videos regularly as we were trying to adjust and adapt. And now it feels like we're kind of on the other side of that, right? Um, we were already discussing as elders, making some changes and what that would look like. And right around that time, the CDC starts releasing some different information. Governor DeWine uh, kind of offers, you know, some things in regard to masks. And so it just seemed like perfect timing for us to discuss this. And so if you were at our members meeting, much of what I'm going to share is just an update. It's a reminder of what we already talked about, but we want anybody to know that's coming to Greenville Grace, uh, what you might expect and what things look like. Uh, quick reminder, if you're a member of Grace and you weren't at the members meeting, look one of us elders up and we'd love to bring you up to speed. Uh, some of the things that we talked about in the members meeting, you're going to see on Sundays and be able to catch up with. Some of the things, though, uh, you're, you'd are you miss out on because it isn't necessarily going to get shared in, in a whole church setting. Um, but as far as masks and COVID and restrictions and adjustments, here's kind of where we're looking at. First of all, uh, we've been, since we started meeting together again, just a couple months later when they started talking about masks, we've been requesting that people would wear a mask to church. Uh, we weren't enforcing it, we weren't requiring it, but we were requesting it. And so as elders, we were all wearing masks as well, simply because we felt like we need to take the lead in doing what we're asking other people to do. We're no longer requesting that people wear masks. Um, and so you'll notice your elders are probably not going to be wearing masks when you see them. Um, if you want to wear a mask, absolutely keep wearing one. Uh, there'll be no judgment about that. We've got people in our church that are dealing with cancer, that have autoimmune disease, they have heart problems, lung problems. And if you, you decide uh, that for your own safety, you feel like it's still a good idea for you to wear a mask, we just love to have you here. So uh, don't feel like you, you can't do that. I am going to try and do this, and I would encourage the rest of our church to maybe consider this sort of, you want to call it a policy you can. It's how I plan to interact with other people as well. Um, I plan to carry my mask with me, even though we're not requesting them anymore. But if I'm going to talk to somebody here in the church uh, and they have a mask on, I'm going to try to remember to put mine on as well. And I would much rather be in an environment where I go to put a mask on and somebody says to me, hey, hey, I've got one on, but you don't need one. That's fine. I'd much rather that than be in a situation where I'm talking to somebody I can notice they're maybe a little uneasy or they just don't want to say it, but they're thinking, man, dude, I really wish you'd put your mask on. Now, if you want me to put my mask on just because the more of my face that's covered, the better you might just have to put up with this. But seriously, like if, if it's, if it's going to put somebody at ease, it's a very small step to take. And so I do plan to put my mask on if I'm interacting with other people that are still here who are wearing a mask. Um, so that's the first part of it. We're not requesting masks anymore. We're not requiring masks of our children's church ministry. And so if you're working in children's church or the nursery, very thankful for those people who are willing to, to comply with that and just sought to kind of serve and uh, make sure that if a, a family showed up at our church, that didn't become a stumbling block for them to be able to participate in ministry. Um, but it doesn't, we've been watching and that doesn't seem to be an issue that we see now. And so uh, teachers, nursery workers, others are gonna be uh, released from that requirement to wear a mask uh, in those environments. Um, seating. We're going to try and put the seats to the front of the church back to what they were before. And so if not socially distancing um, sounds good to you, you're welcome to kind of we'll try something revolutionary. Maybe you want to sit in the front on a Sunday. Would that not be crazy? But we'll try and do that kind of toward the front and say, hey, um, if you're comfortable sitting around other people or whatever, just come on up and we'll kind of do like we normally did. Uh, if you you're welcome to kind of sit by yourself, even in those sections that happens all the time. But if the room starts to fill up, just be aware, somebody might end up coming and sitting right beside you, even if you weren't comfortable with that. 
So we're going to still have kind of a section in the back that if you still would like to remain socially distanced from others, uh, we're going to have it to where you can come approach somebody and tell them like, hey, I need, there's four of us in our family. Okay, we'll set up four chairs and we're not going to put any other chairs around you uh, so that you don't have somebody coming in late, needing a seat. You were comfortable because you thought you were sitting by yourself and then now suddenly somebody's sitting right beside you. We're going to try and respect that. So there'll still be an availability for some uh, if they want to remain socially distanced that they can do that. That's gonna give us some time uh, to see how our room is filling up and what the atmosphere feels like in the room under those conditions. In years past, we've really enjoyed during the summer being able to meet just as one gathering. Um, it, you get to see everybody and we experience all of the identical same things. Uh, it just seems to work better. It's easier on our volunteers that are helping out in different areas. Um, we're not sure if we're capable of doing that yet, we're not sure if we're able to do that. So uh, we're gonna keep an eye on it. You might hear that in mid June or so, we might be saying, hey, actually, let's go ahead for a couple more summer months and just meet at 10 o'clock and meet as one service. But for now, we'll continue doing two services till we get a feel uh, for what things look like. So that's kind of where we are. Um, we, all of that is subject to change if things would happen unforeseen in either direction. Uh, that we might make adjustments either way. But um, just wanted to, to kind of give you that update, let you know what to kind of expect as you come in. Uh, Want to get rid of any surprises as much as we can so that when we gather together, the attention can be on us locking arms together, looking up to heaven, recognizing the work of Jesus on our behalf and giving all praise and glory to him. Love you guys. Talk to you later.